Hello guys and uh, welcome uh, for this tutorial in uh, Cubase. Um, basically it's gonna be a simple tutorial and it's gonna help your uh, workflow uh, to achieve a fast kind of workflow and you don't need to, to do the same thing again and again and again. So for this tutorial I'm gonna use a Groove Agent all right and uh, i'm gonna open my uh, media browser so basically um, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna look for a set of um, rise uh, uplifters and uh, this kind of sounds all right and i'm gonna chuck them in uh, in groove agent so in my media bay, I'm gonna type rise and these are all the rises alright this is cool so example like this alright cool Cool. Let's get a, another one. Cool. All right. So I have these four guys here. You can fill up how much you want. Um, example, uplifters. Another four uplifters, maybe. This one. This one. This one. And this one. So we have these four. All right. So the idea is that when you start a track, all right, so they are on C1 starting from C1 to G1. So when you start a track, all you need to do is for example now it's very important as well for groove agent to make a setting and I will tell you which setting you do this is this one triggering So, you see I stopped the timeline, the music, but the sample still kept on going and we don't want this one. So, the setting is from here. You press sample, you go one shot until release. So if I press it, when I will release it, it will stop. And it will start again as soon as I press it again. I don't want that it will continue if I don't press or I have any MIDI data triggered. All right. So that's basically how to manage Groove Agent. All right, second one. And
So, once, once you have your kind of like preset of some different effects, all right, you can trigger them as MIDI from here. And also, when you do this, you go on here and you do save track preset. All right. You create a folder, Groove Agent. All right. And then you name the preset Effects Preset. And then it will be saved here. All right. Also, you can save from here. And you do FX reset rise slash uplifter. Hit OK. And you enter as a valid name. Oops, sorry. It shouldn't have. OK. And here it's saved. Now, next time. When you open a new project, what will happen is this. All right. So you remove this track example. All right. And now the track is removed. So now add instrument track. Browse. Effects. Groove agent. FX preset and FX preset rise uplifter at track. And as you can see, we have the samples loaded straight away. So that will save you time, all the time, to go in the media library or to go in your finder and drag the samples inside Cubase. So like this, they are sorted here. And when you're working, you need this thing to be fast so you can trigger straight away. You don't need to waste your time. All right, that was uh, the, my first actually tutorial on uh, Cubase. I hope you guys like it, how to upload uh, things in uh, Groove Agent to use your workflow better. Um, hope you like this uh, tutorial. Um, check my website www.onlinemusicsessions.com and if you're interested, uh, just send me an email and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. Trippy from onlinemusicsessions.com. Thank you. Bye, guys.